Tomo, Mr. Consistent, never, I would have never given him less than seven out of ten. Wolves have been through such a, such a dire spell in the 80s and you know they needed people like Tomo to kind of to, to rejuvenate and, and lift the club. Fans wanted players that they could associate with and Tomo you know, obviously was a key part of that. One of the iconic Wolves players of the post-war era. I mean, he came at a bargain price with the bully. What a deal, £60,000 for the two of them. And whereas Steve bought the goals, then Andy was part of that really solid defence at that point in time. And having plummeted through the divisions, he was the mainstay really that saw that team start to go back up through the divisions to respectability again. When he joined for what was it, twenty thousand pounds? You know, one of the one of the bargains of the century. I think Wolves' crowds were like what one one two thousand at that time, and then obviously when he's left, they're up to twenty five thousand. Which you know, Tom Tom played a big part of that and a real kind of key part of that of that togetherness with the club and the fans that was so important at that time. I think Tom played in every shirt uh, number at, at Wolves in every position. He even played in goal once in a friendly game. I think it was against Worcester Cricket Club. Uh, at Molyneux and he, he went in goal for the last few minutes and I think he put in his Mark Kendall shirt and the sleeves were about a foot too long, they were just sort of hanging down and he did look up and have a go at touching the bar but he, he failed miserably uh, but he, he was so versatile as a player and uh, the thing is about Tomo, what he lacked in height he more than made up for in heart because he would never ever give up. Reliable could play midfield, play in defence, penalty taker. I was going to say he never missed, but he hardly ever missed. Dependable and solid player, and what a penalty taker. I think he scored 45 goals in total every 11 years, which is just incredible. I mean, I remember um, the 94-95 season, which was such an exciting season for the club. Molyneux had just been rebuilt and, uh, and Sir Jack was ploughing money in. The, you know, the great thing was when it, whenever we got a penalty at that time, it, it, was, it was a goal. Now we make sure the Wolves are in front against West Bromwich Albion. It was a precious situation a lot of times when Tomo took a penalty, but he never wavered apart from that uh, shootout against Sheffield Wednesday. And even then he hit the bar, it wasn't as if he was miles away. Uh, but no, you, you, you knew that 99 times out of 100 Tomo would score if it was a penalty. Best thing I can say about Tomo is he has not changed one bit. He's a lovely bloke, he's a quiet bloke and he still seems amazed when people want his autograph. I was quite nervous meeting him for the first time I remember when I started the job a couple of years ago. Um, but he's great, he's great company, like I said, he loves the club and, and, it's, and it's quite rare to have this um, a, an 11 year playing career with the club, but then to kind of continue that affinity and obviously, you know, he lives in the local area, commentates on all the games, goes to all home and away games. That's, that's quite rare for any club really these days, let alone Wolves. Um, but it just shows you the kind of impact that he's had on the club. Mickey Stell was obviously the big joker in the pack of that uh, 90s team. He always used to say about Tomo that if they, he wanted some cash drawing out, they had to lift him up so he could get to the buttons on the controls or once they were playing golf and they lost him and uh, this, this little boy's going, help, help, and he'd fall in in the hole. If Wolves were in the Premier League for, for those 11 years when Tomo was at the club, you know, would, would he have been in the team for those 11 years? You know, it's, it's, that's debatable, but I guess, I guess that, you know, the times make the man and, and Wolves, Wolves needed people like Tomo at that time. Um, and he was, he was a, real, a real key part of, of them kind of, you know, rising from Phoenix from the Flames kind of during those years, you know, they needed people like him and Andy Much and, and Steve Bull and Robbie Dennison. Um, and like I said, the fact that he would stay so long until 1997 shows you what a good player he was. You know, it wasn't wasn't just wasn't just about the, the team spirit and the character. You know, Tom was was a good player um, and made made an indelible mark on on Wolves' history.